is up my beautiful babes and gabs of the world it's your girl keelan aka it's keelan and i am back with another mother freaking video <laughs> Today, 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 I don't know where this energy is coming from, but today I am going to be telling you a little story time. So as y'all can tell from the title, this is going to be the story time of the first time I ever got like super, 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 super duper drunk. Yeah, so let's just get on with the story. So it was honestly like, it wasn't really recent, but it was recent. Like um, the first time I ever got drunk was maybe 2017 2018 um and i was with my dad for all of christmas break and then um what happened was we were playing a game called face 10 i don't know if people know about face 10 but if y'all don't i'm gonna just insert like what the box and stuff looks like so we put a twist on it and we put we were playing drunk face 10 so Drunk phase 10 is just if you get set back on a certain phase, um, you have to take a shot. Now, mind you, this day, I was already pretty lit. Like, I was, I had already been drinking daiquiris. Because, like, every time I come out there, my dad's like, hey, what do you, what do you want to drink? Or, you know, we're just going to turn up, celebrate you being out here, you know, stuff like that. So, this particular day, um, I was like, you know what, I really want some daiquiris because it was good the last time i had it so he went to the he went to the daiquiri shop we had it it was like a huge jug of the da, uh of da, um, daiquiri mix and um so i had already been drinking that i had already had i don't know how many cups of the daiquiris i had i'm gonna just be honest it was a lot though i had already been drinking like just pre-drinking um different type of alcohols that we had at the house i was I was lit already so then my sister got off of work and we decided to play phase 10 it was my dad my two sisters and my brother so we decided to play phase 10 and everything's good I didn't have to drink for like three rounds right <laughs> after phase three let me tell you I probably got stuck on phase three like four times because I was that lit now we had for shots you could take take either you could take let's see what is it it was crown royal like the regular crown royal apple uh i think I, tequila or um fireball those are the four things you had to take a shot of um so and it wasn't like just a sh like it was like maybe this big of a shot but it like he didn't he f filled it all the way up to the top or sometimes you would take double shots now that just depends on if you want to take the shot for the other person that had to get set back or if he was being nice and was like yeah let's take a shot together because we was already lit at this point but the thing is i took i was i was i was gone y'all i was so gone it was ridiculous at the end of the game i ended on phase six phase mother freaking six i don't know it's phase 10 for a reason you gotta get it to phase 10 but no i ended on phase six that's how lit i was so um after that happened my dad was like let's go or we was like we was hungry mind you at this time we was drunk and it was like maybe two or three in the morning and my dad's like Ugh. i mean like we were just really hungry so we went to go get snacks so we go to walmart and we get snacks as soon as I get into Walmart, I kept dropping my phone. Now, at the time, I had the iPhone 7 in red, I think. So, it, at that time, and, and it didn't have a case on it. So, I kept dropping it. I could not remember my password to save my life. I locked myself out of my phone. But my dad finally took it from me. He's like, you either going to break it or you're going to lock yourself out for real, for real. So, he just took the phone from me for the rest of the day or for the rest of the night. As soon as we get in Walmart, splat, right on the, right on the face concrete this is concrete or this is the concrete and this is my phone luckily i don't know how i had to be lucky but it did not break did it again did not break at all 
So I was like, okay. So then my dad took the phone for me and then <laughs> my dad and my brother went somewhere. I think they went to go get like toothpaste or something like that. I don't know. But me and my sister went to go get snacks. Now we got left behind because I don't even know how we got left behind. But all I remember is us being in the snack aisle and um, all of a sudden she's talking, we talking. All of a sudden everything just was kind of like blurry, hazy type stuff. And then all I remember is her saying, Mumu, catch me. And I turn and I'm like, what? And all of a sudden. All of a sudden, she is literally trying to like jump in my arms. Mind you, at the time, if I'm like 19, she's 18. She's only one year younger than me. So, oh. so at the time, she's like jumping, trying to jump in my arms. The next thing I know, we both fell on the floor. Just, we just, so we got our snacks, and then we tried to go find my dad and my brother. Now, my brother he was kind of lit because he's not a drinker he's not he's more no nah, he's just not a drinker so my dad was holding on to my brother's arm to keep him like in place apparently we were more sober than my brother i don't know about that because that that night was just so funny but um so we eventually go and we find my dad and we found my brother and we was like I, somehow my brain was like oh yeah i saw them go this way no not at all did not see them go this way we ended all the way up in the tires <laughs> like <laughs> they found us in the tires it was like what are y'all doing over here and i was like we were looking for y'all and like it was just so funny y'all but it was like you had to be there because it was so lit I was messed up. I'm not even going to lie. I was drunk. So, um, after that, um, what happened? So, we go to checkout and we go and, like, I'm pretty sure the Walmart workers that was bringing us out that night, it was probably the best show they didn't have because, <laughs> because I was, I was so messed up. It was ridiculous. So, then we leave. We, um, we... Do y'all hear that? Okay, so then we leave Walmart, right? We leave Walmart and then... Lucas... Okay, but then we leave Walmart. We go back to the car. I think I almost tripped getting in the car in our um because he has a Range Rover, so that's the car we took. I think I almost tripped getting in the car. Um, and then all of a sudden I know we back at the house. We were listening to music. I'm shouting real loud, listening to the music, trying to sing along. Y'all know how you get sloppy drunk, and then you know that happens. Yeah, that's what happened. So we get back to the house and we stay up for maybe just a little bit, just a little bit longer around. And then like everybody decides they wanted, they was tired. We tried to watch a movie, but not nah, everybody was like crashing that they was, they was, we was done for. So then after that, I don't know what time it was. It was still dark, maybe like four or five, I want to say. Cause this was around Christmas time, so it was still dark at five. But one of them, like one of those times, maybe not even that much after, maybe not even that like that further after we was done drinking and playing a game, somebody was in the bathroom throwing up. Now I was sleeping in the. We have a game room. Well, there was a game. It was a game room, and it had like the TV, the couches, and everything. And then there was like my bed over there. So, but I don't remember. Somebody was in the bathroom throwing up. I don't know if it was my brother or my sister, but somebody was throwing up in the bathroom. And then, you know, I don't know if it was because I had too much alcohol. Now, mind you, I have never, ever, ever, before this, I've never, ever thrown up, ever, from drinking alcohol. Like, I can drink and not throw up, but I can be real drunk and still not throw up. So, I don't know if it was because I was literally listening to them throw up and just hearing it or if I was just that lit and threw up. But every, like all of a sudden I'm in the bathroom in the sink just throwing up in the sink. Now it wasn't as much as everybody, but it was just like, okay, I'm hearing this person throw up and then that was it. I went back and I laid back down. 
So after that, I went back to sleep. And so, um, cause I was still pretty drunk at this time. Cause you know, it was only like an hour or two. I was still pretty drunk at this time. So I went back to sleep and then we all wake up the next day. And my dad was like, yeah, I heard you threw up. That was the goal. Cause I, again, I had never thrown up from alcohol before. So I was like, nah, it was because somebody was in the bathroom throwing up and I was just listening to it. And it was, it was getting gross. Cause you know, when you hear something or you, when you hear somebody throw up or you see it, you you throw up too like so i think that's what it was my dad just think he got me super drunk after that we've been doing the same thing and i haven't thrown up so but um so yeah after that like we had what do we do so he was like okay let's go again and i'm like shoo let's go again all my other sisters and stuff and my sisters and brothers like no we're not doing it y'all can't but we not like it was it was such a fun time, but at the same time, no, nah, it was just fun. Like, it was just super fun. Like, I enjoyed myself that day. I think my brothers and sisters um, back home in Indiana had called me and, like, they was like, man, you were so drunk and da-da-da. I was just like, that's not how I wanted y'all to hear me on the phone. But, you know, it was a good time. I had fun. That Walmart story will forever be a really funny mem memory for me of just it was just all good to me honestly so yeah that was pretty much the story of the first time I ever got drunk um again I do not condone underage drinking I can't say don't do it because I then that would make me a hypocrite because I was only 19 at the time but please just just if you're gonna do it because teenagers will be teenagers but if you're gonna do it please be around sa the safety of your home again i was with my entire family it wasn't like i was just out and about doing random you know drinking or whatever it was literally my dad and my siblings that were you know around us but um yeah so just please please whatever you do if you're gonna do it be safe about it be smart about it or just don't do it i'm not gonna tell you like again i can't like push it like no don't do it because again i did it but um yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up because it really really helps me out a lot um follow me on all my social medias um they're linked down below don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on your bell notification so you can see the next time i post be a part of my subscribe fam because I would love to have you and we would love to have you. We're trying to get lit this year. Um, so yeah, let's let's just continue to grow. Just, let's grow the family. Let's just, I don't know where this energy is coming from, but like let's just grow the family and you know, we're on the road to two two K. Okay. But um, anyways, I was gonna stay class in a little bit trashy and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out guys.